So in the last video we have created a socket object. We bound it to the post, a host and a port and we are listening to one connection and we created this connection and address variables or objects and uh, by calling the soc.accept function which is a blocking method or a blocking command so if I run the application now as you can see the window is not responsible there is no grid and the game is not showing only the window so to actually prevent this um, we are going to create a separate thread uh, using the threading module, which is also part of the standard uh, Python library. So, before the sockets, I'm going to import the threading module, so import threading, and I'm going to define uh, a function called create underscore thread and this will take uh, as, uh, as a parameter called target one parameter called target and to create a thread first I'm going to name it thread and use the threading modules dot thread class and I'm going to set the target target equal to the target. So the next thing I'm going to set the daemon daemon equal to true. So and what is this daemon? Uh, I'm going to stack overflow and here is a good answer to the question so some threads do background tasks like sending uh, keep alive packets or performing periodic garbage collection or whatever these are only useful when the main program is running and it, it's okay to kill them off once uh, the other non-daemon threads have exited Without daemon threads, uh, you would have to keep track of them and all, and tell them to exit before your program can completely quit. By setting them as daemon threads, you can let them run and forget about them. And when your program quits, any daemon threads are killed automatically. So any daemon threads will will be killed automatically when the program quits. So that's why I'm going to set the thread the daemon equal to true. And I'm also going to call the thread that start to actually start the new separate thread. And now I'm going to create a second function and this will be the waiting for connection waiting underscore for underscore connection waiting for connection and the waiting for connection I'm going to for now just pass and I'm going to move this waiting for connection function here after the socket object is created so this con or the connection and address I'm going to define after the connection established so, so connection con and addr as none so none and none and here in the waiting for connection method I'm going to use this global variables so global first the connection established 
connection established and I also going to use the con con and also the addr and I'm going to move this code so control x to cut it out and move it inside the function so this waiting for connection will make the connection and also after it connected I, I'm just going to print out to the console that uh, client is connected client is connected and also going to set the connection established connection established equal to true and lastly lastly I'm going to create one more method and this will be the receive underscore data I'm just going to pass it here so receive data will be pass so after the after this function runs and the connection connection is established I will run the receive data function so receive data okay now let's move this waiting for connection into the separate into a separate thread so this will be easy we just need to call this function called create thread here so create thread and the target will be the waiting for connection waiting for connection So the waiting for connection will be passed, passed as a target to this create, uh, create thread method and it will pass to the threading the thread. And the separate thread now will run this waiting for connection so that it now the, this line, the socket accept won't block the main thread. So if I now run the application we can play the game and now we have two threads we have a main thread the main thread runs this uh, the game and we have running a separate thread and the separate thread is just runs this waiting for connection uh, function and uh, it it is uh, waiting for a connection to appear on this line so connection and address equals sock that accept and until it receives a connection from a client, the, the separate thread will be blocked by this line. And in the next video, I'm going to also, probably I'm going to the client and make the connection to the server. And then I'm going to uh, define this receive data which will receive the data from the client